They're not as bad as last year, not as widespread. But in those dense pockets where the gypsy moths are chowing down, they are relentless, destructive, and disgusting. Horrible, horrible. You would have them crawling on you, dropping on your head. You, there was no place that you could sit or walk. We had to come out through our garage in order to get in the car. Here on Angelo Street in Worcester, the furry caterpillars have done a real number on the Morrow family's favorite oak, despite belated attempts to spray and foil the caterpillar's upward climb. You can see what's left of these old egg sacs at the base of this oak. Each one of those sacs contained between 500 and 1,000 eggs. They turned into caterpillars, and this is the result. It'll sound like it's raining out. That's actually their feces falling. You'll see the, the driveways turning brown, the sides of the roads, the leaves. They'll, they'll make a total, total mess of the lawn. As a landscaper, Stephen Isabel has battled the gypsy moth for decades. He says the past few weeks have been prime feeding season. The foil around the trees works good uh, with the grease. Uh, Thoracide and BT are the two chemicals you can buy um, off the shelf to spray for them as well. And some of the caterpillars have now started spinning their cocoons so they can transition into moths and lay more eggs. Still, it's not too late to spray and pray for rain. Moisture releases the parasitic fungus that naturally wipes out the gypsy moth. This is one that the bacteria has actually already worked on. They, they, they actually shrink in diameter and then they will turn almost into a horseshoe. 